Hello guys here with another Android video. In this video I want to show you guys a very cool app called Avast Mobile Security. Avast Mobile Security is a very great app for scan your phone for anti for viruses or it's a very good app for as an anti-theft program. It lets you find your phone, it lets you wipe your phone from a remote location. It's very very good for that. So I'm going to show you guys the two main features that I actually like from this phone which is starting with the virus scanner. Um, over here in virus scanner you can either choose to scan your apps or scan your SD card. It doesn't really matter which one you do. Um, honestly I recommend just scanning your apps but if you want you can also if you port a lot of things from your computer that you have downloaded in your computer to your um, SD card inside I would actually recommend doing both um, or if you've been downloading lots and lots of things to your phone from using the web browser yes I would recommend doing the SD card too as well but let's look for this video I'm gonna go ahead and just scan the apps uh, but it doesn't really matter which one you do. Also, you can go ahead and set up a automatic scan like I do over here. I have it set up for Monday at 2 a.m. in the morning because that's a time when I'm sleeping and 2 a.m. in the morning, I am not using my phone. So that I recommend doing that in the morning where you're not using your phone instead of doing it during the day. So let's go ahead here and scan now. And like you can see, it will be going through all your apps one by one. Uh, normally, it it's, doesn't take that long. I would say like a minute and a half. But let's see how long it takes to scan my phone. Okay, like you can see here, it's about to finish. And so far, it's scanning 108. Okay, there you go, it finished. So you can see the time. It scanned 108 apps. And it took a, a minute and 33 seconds which is very very good that's not bad at all so and that's it this is it for the antivirus section of the app like I said just make sure you automatically scan it that way you don't have to remind yourself of doing it yourself it'll, it'll just do it so and that's it when you do that that's done over here another cool feature it has is shield control and shield control over here when you see web shield this is a very good section it also protects your phone when you're navigating for example it has over here it says check for phishing sites check for malicious sites and site correct fixes spelling errors when you type an address to the browser address this is very good to keep it checked in uh, uh, but most of all these features are already going to be checked so you don't really have to bother that much there just I recommend you going through every single one of them and see what every single one of them do for you but honestly everything that is selected here is selected by default um, here over here in the anti theft when you first install this app it's gonna take you to a long process not really long but it's gonna take you to an extra process to and ask you if you uh, want to add install the anti-theft section of this app I recommend you to do it do it it's gonna take you more time but it's gonna totally be worth it go ahead and do it follow all the instructions it's very very easy it takes you by the hand and once you're done installing it you're gonna to have to create a an email it's gonna ask you for personal data uh, don't I like your name nothing nothing that personal but you know like your name and everything because when you do this it actually is going to create a username and password for the Avast website which you are going to be able to scan your phone wipe your phone and access your phone remotely from the web browser through an web through a tablet or using a computer or using another smartphone so go ahead and do that nothing wrong there over here we click there the anti-theft over here all you're gonna see is your best basic settings that you already went through this when you first installed this app and you selected the anti-theft so now let's go ahead and to the website so I can show you how it works okay guys so now we are on the website it's the my.avast.com you're gonna get an email 
with the address and everything just make sure you click on the email when you receive it so that way you can confirm your email because when you get here for the first time it's going to actually ask you to confirm the email so make sure you do that after you log in and create a password you can see that you have one device i have one device protect, being protected by avast avast is very secure they do they've been doing um antiviruses um apps and software for PCs for years already so they are very trustful um, over here you can see your devices and here I can see a remotely control mobile device Nexus 4 I can also add more devices like a Windows computer another Android phone or a Mac so you could actually have more than one device being protected and access remotely so now let's go ahead to view devices uh, here in view devices you're gonna see your phone you're gonna see your phone on Nexus 4 it said that it's totally secured it's being you know monitored and over here you can see the products that's being used with your phone like the Avast mobile security and and Avast anti-theft that is it over here you're gonna have more devices if you do so now let's go ahead to view detail over here in locator map you can actually see your phone and your location you can also change to satellite location you can see where your phone is at if you tap on it you're gonna see the date and uh, last coordinates of your phone and everything and like you see it's very very precise three meters that's not bad over here in GPS coordinates it's gonna show you um, all the times that your, your this app has scanned or you have chosen to look for the information location of your phone is going to show it right here oh, and over here when you click over here in commands you're going to see all the commands that you have issued to your phone using this website you can see all the commands I've been doing here like trying and playing with my phone so let's go ahead here and choose some of the commands you can actually do from the web browser you can go ahead and choose make this phone as lost you could go ahead and once you find it, you could go ahead and set select that you found the phone. Here you could go ahead and locate the phone. If you lost your phone, you could go ahead and click here and click send. And over here is gonna tell you you wanna go ahead and do it once or every every minute, every five minute, every fifteen minute, and so on, so on. But right now, for the purpose of the video, I'm gonna go ahead and choose once okay so once you click on that it's actually going to go ahead and locate your phone and it's going to sh tell you a local command has been has been successfully issued uh, please wait until the position data arrives and that's it over here let's go ahead and click another one which is very cool this is the siren you can also go ahead and send a siren to your phone let's say for example you lost it in the restaurant and you haven't left the restaurant and you want to you can't find your phone after you went to the restroom so obviously somebody in the restaurant has it or around you uh, so this you can actually do it from a phone or from a tablet if you have it and go ahead and send that siren let's go ahead and send it and when you send it let's go ahead and see how long it takes uh... what there it goes this phone has been lost or stolen there it goes uh... one thing about that that siren it will not if the person turns off the phone and turns it back up reboot it it would still keep doing that after the phone connects again after the phone connects to the network it will do keep ringing and ringing and ringing so that's very cool okay now to stop that you can go ahead and click on that let's say you found it let's go ahead and send and done that's it you saw how fast that was one thing I recommend always leave your GPS on honestly I've been leaving the GPS on for since I got this phone and I don't see the GPS is affecting my phone in anything so the battery is concerned about GPS for me it's not ex existent um, your phone even works a lot better all the apps and everything works a lot better with the GPS on too so keep that in mind over here I could go ahead and select wipe if you choose to wipe your phone it's gonna tell you right here it's gonna tell you delete all data from your phone are you sure you wanna delete all data from your phone I am not gonna do this because I don't want to delete all the data from my phone but like you see right here you if you click send or accidentally click send your <laughs> your phone is gonna be 
wiped completely. That's a very, very cool feature to have if you just giving up of, on trying to find your phone. You say, you know what, the hell, I lost my phone. Uh, this is another cool feature, forwarding your calls and your text messaging. When you choose that, you can send everything, your text messages, you can send your, over here, you can choose to send your calls and text messages to another phone over here. So every phone and text messages will be automatically um, forwarded to another phone. Uh, you can also send a message to the person. Uh, let's go ahead and send a message. Um, over here, you can go ahead and write the message like, Okay, so right now I wrote, please return my phone, call me at blah, blah, blah. So I go ahead and send it. And there it goes. So it's, it sent me a message, says this message from the device owner, please return my phone, call me at 837. A crazy number I just put there. So like you can see, it will send that message. If the person actually wants to return your phone, it, they will do it. So that's a very another cool feature to have. And of course you can keep on sending messages and messages and messages all you want over here. If you go ahead, find the phone, stop forwarding. Uh, you can also, this is another cool feature. You can click, select call. If you click call, it will automatically make your phone call silently make a phone call to whatever phone number you put over here. Let's say you put, um. Um, your wife's phone number or your boyfriend's phone number, you put it right there, right? And you click send. The phone that you have lost is gonna call that phone silently. It will not, the person that has this phone will not notice that you made that call. And you will be able to hear anything that uh, the person are talking on the phone or around the phone which is a very cool feature as well I try that and it actually works very good so go ahead and play with that that's a very cool feature now to also to prank or make a prank if you want to listen to what somebody is talking about around your phone you can actually do that as well that's very cool too and like you see over here you got lots of options like lock your phone completely lock your phone it, the person will not be able to unlock your phone unless you choose to unlock your phone which is very cool and all these options all this is totally free it comes free with the app and totally worth it it's better than having nothing so guys I hope you guys like the video let me know what you guys think about it till next time